In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a manual import with WP Stagecoach. We've done everything we can do to make sure that automatic imports will always work, but every once in a while they don't, and the solution is to do a manual import. With a manual import, you replace the database on your live site with the database from your staging site. So in other words, a manual import is basically replacing your entire live site with your entire staging site. We have instructions here for how to do this. Uh, you can find this at wpstagecoach.com slash manual import, but sometimes it's easier to understand what's happening if you can watch someone do it. So I'm going to walk you through the process of doing a manual import. The particular site that I'm importing is hosted on Bluehost. Every web host is a little bit different, so these instructions can't apply universally, but Bluehost is very typical of what a manual import looks like, so this should be as, as universal as I can make it. So the first step of a manual import um, is actually to download the database file and the zip file. I've already done this, so I have the files already. So then we upload files to the live site. So to do this, I'm going to use Bluehost's file manager. You could also do this with your favorite FTP client. Um, this file manager is actually a little easier to use because it lets you upload and unzip zip files. So first of all, I need to find the directory that has WordPress in it. So I'm looking for the directory that contains these folders, WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes, uh, and then all, all of these files, WP Config, WP Load. The biggest mistake, or the most common mistake people make with manual imports is that they upload files to the wrong place. So make sure you are uploading your files to the correct place. The zip file that you will download from WP Stagecoach includes only files that have changed on the staging site. It does not include all of the files that you need to make a website. So the first step, just to be cautious, is I'm going to create a copy of the WP Content folder. WP Content is where all of your personalized stuff goes. So all of the files, uh, or all of the images that you upload to the site, all of your plugins, they all go into WP Content. So I'm going to make a copy just on the off chance that things go wrong with the import, now I have a copy so I can get this stuff back if I need it. And if I refresh, you can see my copy there. So now I'm in the directory where all of the WordPress files are. So I'm going to click Upload. And I'm going to choose my files. Here's the zip file that I downloaded from WP Stagecoach. And it's going to take a few minutes to upload this, so I'll pause and come back when it's done. Okay, the upload is complete. So now I'm going to go back to the file manager, and if I click reload, here's the zip file that I just uploaded. So if you right click on it, and select Extract, it will now unzip this into the same directory where all of the WordPress files already are. So that's it for the file import. Like I say, the biggest mistake people make is uploading those files to the wrong place. A lot of times people will put them into a subdirectory, so they'll they'll have a, a directory here called files, or actually the, the default name of that zip file is your staging site name dot zip. Uh, sometimes people will leave them in a folder with that name, but WordPress can't find the files there. So you need to make sure that you're putting the files into the file, the directory with the rest of your WordPress files and that they're overwriting the existing files. So 
We're done with the files. You probably won't notice any difference on your website yet. We need to go back to uh, the cPanel and upload the database. So scroll down until you find database tools and we're going to open up PHP my admin. And again, these instructions are here on WPStagecoach.com. Now, PHP My Admin is asking for a username and password. Sometimes, it all depends on how your web host is configured, sometimes you will be automatically logged into PHP My Admin, and sometimes it will ask for a username and password. If it's asking for a username and password, you need to go back to your file manager and you need to open wpconfig.php. In this file, you will see uh, where it's, it defines the database user and the database password. That's the username and password that you need to enter into PHP My Admin to access your database. So now I've entered in the username and password and PHP My Admin is loading. First you need to click on databases. And this is going to pull up a list of all of the databases on this web host account. Uh, sometimes PHP My Admin will dump you right into the correct database, but sometimes it doesn't. So it's always smart to click on databases and select the database. If there's more than one database listed here, then you need to go back to the wpconfig.php file and find the database name in that file so that you are certain you have the right database. As an extra precaution, I'm going to click Export. This is going to download a copy of the database. That way, if something goes wrong with this manual import, I have a copy of the database and I can go back to what it was before I tried the import. Uh, so, uh, in general, the default options here are fine. So I'm going to click on Go and it's going to download this database. So I'm saving a copy to my desktop. So now I have a backup just in case I need it. And now I can go to import. So I need to select the file to import. So I'm going to browse my computer. And I need the database that I downloaded from WP Stagecoach. And in general, the default options here are just fine. So all I have to do is click go. And depending on the size of your database, this could go very fast like it just did, or it could be a slower process. So that's it. I am finished with my manual import. And now I can go check on the site and make sure everything looks OK. Uh, if you do run into any problems with manual import, our support team is always very happy to help. Um, but as you can see, even though the instructions are a little intimidating, it's actually a very simple process.